video, I'm going to talk about port-based authentication or NO2.1x authentication. So, uh, port-based authentication is based on IEEE 802.1x standard and uh, it uses extensible authentication protocol over LANs. And uh, this protocol, uh, authentication, ex authentication, extensible authentication protocol over LANs is a layer 2 protocol, meaning that uh, if, if a computer, for example, here is connected to the, to the switch, that computer can't have uh, an IP address or request for an IP address unless uh, it has been authorized or authenticated to access the network. It can, uh, this computer and switch can only communicate uh, using this uh, protocol here. So, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, we have some terms that we need to be uh, familiar with. And uh, this diagram, uh, we have what we call supplicant. This is what we call computer. We call the computer as the supplicant and the switch as the authenticator. Authenticator. And of course the radius server or AAA server as the AAA server. And you know, um, in this diagram, it's just uh, the switch, the computer is connected to the switch, and the switch is connected to the cloud. So, you know, routers, this cloud, you know, just <coughs> full of routers, and this triple A server here could be located in another building or in the same. Uh, building but uh, should be or could be in another uh, network so and by the way uh, port based authentication or NO2.1x authentication is basically uh, it solves the problem I mean it's it's it is a combination of using triple A authentication and port uh, security authentication so it can it can uh, authorize a host based on the based on the person who's using the, the host or the computer and it can also uh, authorize a host based on the MAC address but <clears throat> uh, usually it, it, is it is used uh, to authorize a user based on its uh, based on who the person is or who the user is. So actually in my current in my current job uh, the the this uh, 802 x is being used uh, is using a 
digital certificate. So uh, this supplicant here should have a digital cert certificate for it to be authorized to access the network. So yeah, um, let's talk about it. Uh, it'll to the one X configuration. So like I said. Uh, you have to, I mean, port-based authentication is using uh, AAA authentication. Uh, so by default, AAA <coughs> authentication, AAA is disabled on the switch. So you have to enable it by typing in this command here. Uh, AAA new model. And you have to, uh, this command here. Uh, is where you specify the the radius server external radius radius servers so in this case I'm using two radius servers uh, but in this diagram we're just using a, a single host I mean single radius server uh, that is fine it's just an example and here uh, it's basically saying to use the radius servers for the .1x authentication and this command here this is where you uh, enable the .1x authentication and of course you have to enable it to the ports or interface of the switch so in this case this these ports belong to VNM20 and these are all access ports and this is where you enable that one x authentication so we have three options uh, auto force authorized and force unauthorized so auto is what's usually used because it authorize or or yeah authorize or not authorize the the host based on the based on the who the who the user is so or could be you know the if it has a valid digital certificate or or not so and force authorize is basically force Authorize the the host that is connect or the computer that is connect, connected to the switch. Doesn't matter if that host has a valid digital certificate or or not. And force unauthorized is not to authorize the the host or the computer whether that host uh, has or has or doesn't have a valid certificate but like I said the auto is usually being used because this is where you actually uh, enable uh, that one X on that port on the port and Verification, of course, uh, you can just do show dot one x all. So, yeah, I just need to uh, emphasize that uh, these terms here. So, the computer is the supplicant uh, or the host. The switch is the authenticator and the server is the AAA or Redis server so you need to be familiar with that so yeah that's it that's it for uh, .1x or port based authentication uh, like I said I already I mean in the previous video uh, I said that I'm gonna I would you know uh, 
discuss this in um, more detailed in more detail so yeah so yep uh, thanks for watching bye